In recent years, the use of microchip implants has gained significant traction, particularly in Sweden, where over 3,000 people have chosen to have a tiny chip, no larger than a grain of rice, inserted under their skin. These implants allow individuals to make payments with a simple wave of their hand, eliminating the need for physical cards or cash. Governments and tech leaders have hailed this innovation as the future of transactions, promising a seamless and efficient system that could soon become the standard worldwide. Some officials have even suggested that participation in this technology could become a requirement in the near future, ensuring that society fully integrates into a cashless, digitally connected world. However, while proponents argue that this advancement offers unparalleled convenience, many people strongly oppose the idea, raising deep concerns about privacy, government overreach, and the potential for widespread abuse. One of the main arguments in favor of microchip implants is their ability to simplify daily tasks. Instead of carrying wallets or remembering multiple passwords, users can store essential information within the chip, allowing them to pay for goods, unlock doors, and even access transportation with a single gesture. The chip's efficiency has been widely praised in Sweden, where early adopters see it as a step toward a more technologically advanced society. Additionally, these implants have the potential to revolutionize medical care, as the FDA has already approved them for storing medical records. This means that in an emergency, doctors could instantly access a patient's health history, medications and allergies, potentially saving lives. Despite these potential benefits, a growing number of people remain deeply skeptical and even fearful of this technology. One of the most significant concerns is the potential for privacy violations and government surveillance. While proponents argue that the chips do not contain GPS tracking, skeptics worry that this could change over time. If governments or corporations gain access to real-time location data, individuals could be monitored without their knowledge or consent. Many people fear that, once widely implemented, these microchips could be used to control the population, leading to an era of unprecedented surveillance where privacy becomes obsolete. Another major concern is the potential for hacking and unauthorized access to personal data. In a world where cyber attacks are becoming more frequent and sophisticated, implantable chips could become prime targets for hackers. If these chips store financial data, medical records, and personal identification details, they could be exploited for identity theft or fraud. Unlike a compromised credit card that can be cancelled and replaced, an implanted microchip is permanently embedded within the body, making it far more difficult to secure or remove in the event of a breach. The thought of criminals gaining access to someone's personal life through their own body is deeply unsettling for many. Beyond privacy and security concerns, there are also fears regarding the potential loss of personal freedom. Some critics argue that microchip implants could eventually become mandatory, creating a society where participation is not optional. Governments and corporations might phase out traditional payment methods, forcing people to adopt the new system or face exclusion from basic services. If that were to happen, individuals who refuse to comply could find themselves unable to buy food, access healthcare, or even enter public spaces. This scenario raises alarming ethical questions about bodily autonomy and the right to opt out of technological advancements that infringe upon personal choice. The ethical implications extend even further when considering the role of corporations in this technology. Major tech companies have already invested heavily in digital payment systems and biometric security, and it is not far-fetched to believe that they could push for microchip adoption as the next step. If corporations gain control over a person's implanted chip, they could dictate how it is used, what information is stored, and who has access to it. This level of corporate influence over human bodies represents a dangerous shift where people become mere extensions of a digital network governed by private entities with their own interests. Religious and philosophical concerns also play a role in the opposition to microchip implants. Some believe that implanting technology into the human body represents a dangerous overreach of science, one that encroaches on the very essence of what it means to be human. Religious groups have voiced concerns that this technology could be a precursor to a dystopian world where individuals are marked and controlled, reminiscent of prophetic warnings found in religious texts. These deeply held beliefs further fuel resistance to the idea, 
as people fear that technological advancements may be leading society down a dangerous path. Despite these widespread concerns, governments and companies continue to push forward with the promotion of microchip technology. In many ways, society is already moving toward a cashless world, with digital payments becoming increasingly dominant. Mobile phones, facial recognition, and biometric authentication have already replaced traditional identification methods in many places. Some argue that microchip implants are merely the next logical step in this progression. However, unlike a smartphone or ID card that can be set aside, a microchip is embedded within the body, making the decision to adopt it far more permanent. The debate over microchip implants is far from settled. While some see them as an inevitable part of the future, others warn that once this technology becomes widespread, it will be nearly impossible to reverse. If society allows itself to become dependent on implanted technology, the risks of exploitation, tracking and coercion will only grow. What starts as a convenient tool for making payments could soon become a means of control, dictating how people access essential services, how they interact with the world, and even how much freedom they truly have. Due to these types of announcements, and how governments have acted in recent years, many people today are growing increasingly concerned about the future particularly regarding the rapid advancement of technology and its impact on personal privacy. The idea that governments and corporations are gaining more control over individuals through invasive surveillance and data collection has left many feeling uneasy. As technology becomes more integrated into daily life, it is also becoming more intrusive, tracking people's movements, preferences and even thoughts through algorithms. This alarming trend has sparked widespread discussions with more people speaking out against the growing invasion of privacy and the fear that they are losing control over their own lives. One of the primary concerns is the extent to which individuals are being monitored. In the past, privacy was something that could be maintained by simply avoiding certain behaviours or places. Today, however, technology has made it nearly impossible to go unnoticed. Smartphones, security cameras and artificial intelligence are constantly collecting data analyzing behaviors and storing information in ways that many do not fully understand. Governments and corporations claim that this data collection is necessary for security and convenience, but many worry that it is being used for control rather than protection. Every online search, purchase and conversation is logged, creating digital profiles that can be accessed, sold or even manipulated. One of the most alarming aspects of RFID and microchip technology is how seamlessly it has integrated into daily life. Radio frequency identification chips are already embedded in passports, credit cards, public transportation passes, and even pets for tracking purposes. While these applications may seem harmless, the next step, embedding microchips into humans, has sparked widespread debate and resistance. In some countries, individuals have already begun receiving microchip implants to make payments, unlock doors, and store personal information. Proponents argue that this technology simplifies life, but skeptics warn that it represents the first step toward a society where personal autonomy is eroded. The concern extends beyond simple tracking. Once a microchip is implanted, it becomes a permanent part of the body, making it nearly impossible to remove or disable without medical intervention. This raises serious questions about who has access to the data stored within the chip and how it might be used in the future. While companies claim that these devices do not contain GPS tracking, many fear that future versions could incorporate such capabilities, allowing authorities to monitor individuals in real time. The potential for abuse is vast, and history has shown that when governments and corporations gain access to personal information, they often exploit it for their own interests. Many people also fear that radio frequency identification and microchip technology will lead to a system where participation is no longer optional. Today, people can still choose to use cash, traditional ID cards, and physical keys, but there is growing concern that these alternatives will eventually be phased out. Governments around the world are already pushing for digital identification systems, which could one day be linked to implanted microchips. If these systems become mandatory, individuals who refuse to comply may find themselves unable to access essential services such as banking, healthcare, and even employment. The thought of being excluded from society simply for rejecting a microchip is terrifying to many. 
Another troubling development is the rise of facial recognition technology. Once considered something out of science fiction, facial recognition is now used in airports, shopping malls, and even public streets. While authorities argue that it helps prevent crime, critics warn that it is another tool for mass surveillance. In some countries, facial recognition is already being used to monitor people's actions, limit dissent, and punish those who do not comply with government regulations. The thought that every movement is being recorded and analyzed is deeply unsettling, leading many to fear that a world of constant surveillance is becoming a reality. Beyond surveillance, many are also concerned about the increasing push for digital identification and cashless societies. Governments and tech companies have been advocating for digital IDs, which would link all personal information, medical records, financial transactions, and social behaviors into one system. While this is presented as a way to simplify life, it also means that governments and corporations would have total control over people's access to essential services. In a world where everything is connected, the risk of being locked out of society for not complying with certain policies is a real possibility. Those who express unpopular opinions or challenge authority could find themselves restricted from banking, travel or healthcare simply because their digital profile has been flagged. The shift toward a cashless society further amplifies these fears. Physical cash provides a level of financial freedom that digital transactions cannot. Once cash is eliminated, every transaction will be tracked and recorded, removing any sense of anonymity in spending. 